first time the initial training was at Trivandrum, like it was a three months training. So it's just a classroom. We all sit, we all enjoy the next level of next college level. At that point also, there was no much of teaching, but uh, the things which we were taught, like it's a very little thing, but those were pretty good. And I started having an interest in it because seeing the UI because at that time they taught us .NET so .NET trend and development again so I started having an interest of changing the color of the button I think it's maybe it's something related to that changing the color, changing the font or aligning the screen, making it look pretty so I thought maybe because of that thing which I have in me for this arts I thought designing is something which I started liking but when I came into the real project, they completely put me into backend and that too in a different text track which was taught during training. But I couldn't say no because I don't have an option because they directly took me into that uh, particular project. So initially it was really difficult because I was not liking it. Then I started thinking of shifting, uh, but before shifting, I, I should not shift to the same technology. I should learn something in the front end or web development. So that's how I thought of all these things. Always I have the one thing in mind like whatever we do, we should do with love. I mean that is one thing which I always wanted in whatever I do. Otherwise it is complete burden. If we started loving that, it will be like okay, if we work 24 by 7 also, we won't feel much tired. At the end of the day, we'll be happy. So that was missing. Now, that was missing for me in the initial complete one year. I was at the end of the day when I came back to my PG and if I think what I learned today, it's complete zero. I was just working, working, working. But I was not getting a self-satisfaction of happiness out of it. I was doing, I was doing it good. Everyone was telling, okay, you are doing good at ID, but I was not satisfied with the job I was doing. Just before my one line completion, I talked with my team, like I'm going to quit. And I told him like that. And he was like, no, I mean, you have something in IT. Just sit to try for two or three months. You study it along with work and just see if you are able to do it or not. So he just told me like that. Then I just dropped that decision and I started studying for GATE but GATE preparation was not my thing and I was not at all able to do that. Then I thought okay, we'll forget all this electrical thing. We will focus on IT but I need to choose a stream which I am interested in. But I don't want to do the job which I was doing and that's how this web development thing came into my mind. And then I started doing individual projects like on my own. That also was a failure because I was not getting a proper mentorship or guidance. Then Masai came into picture in my life and that was a turning point. Like I gained the confidence because for attending interviews and all, we should have that confidence to speak about the technology. So I gained that confidence by last year, mid or sometime. September, I dropped my paper. Last September, I dropped them. Maybe it was exactly my third year. Third year with TCS and it was just that day itself, like September 21st. I told uh, like I don't have any offer but I am going to quit yes I need to do my dream job because it's really difficult to do something which I'm not loving but the PM literally scolded it was kind of like how you can take such a decision it won't be good for your future like I mean they will be concerned because because everyone will get a job then they will quit I'm quitting before getting a job that too not sure whether I'll get or not but I was like, it's okay, I will try my best. Let's see. But I, at, at this point, I don't want to take back my decision. I will put my papers. So it was kind of very helpful for me in understanding that the one basic thing is, since I don't know computer science, DSA was a great add-on because I don't know ABCD of DSA. So DSA was a great add-on to my studies. And then about the things which are taught, like they start from the very basic, the curriculum is so superb, like it's very structured, like they start from the very basics and then enhances, enhances, enhances. And the constructive project, it like constructive project, we used to have sleepless nights, but the outcomes were so awesome. So after constructive, we, we were like, okay, now we can do some great things. We gained that confidence and that's the confidence which helped me to quit my job. And the tutors, like the tutors who took me, they, they I, I, we used to tell like, Al, uh, you might be knowing Albert sir, right? Yeah, so he used to take three hour straight classes. We will be tired at the end of the day, but still his classes are, I mean, all tutors, all, all, all people. It's, it's a really great year. So it, it's Masai that's a bigger part which played in enhancing my knowledge. So initially I joined with uh, 3.35 IS, he said that was the base pay which they were offering at that time. So then after 3 years I raised that into 4.8 IS, then I now I have a package of like 12, 
so it's like yeah near to 3x i have achieved near to 3x from my previous job they were totally happy with that because i mean they have that confidence when i put the paper they were kind of tense but after that they thought okay we'll get it in english so they were kind of happy 